Digging into reports this week that Memphis Shelby County Schools is considering cutting 675 jobs and programs. The district stands to lose $150 million next year when pandemic relief funding will end for public schools nationwide. Our Stephen Pempo spoke with MSCS staff today who told us those numbers can be misleading and need to be put in the proper context. Stephen, what did you find out? Well, Pepper, Richard, MSCS staff told me that eliminating those jobs was something that was brought up during a discussion board members had at a retreat earlier this month. However, they say it is not an official proposal and that no final decisions have been made. Interim School District Superintendent Tony Williams reiterated the same thing at last night's MSCS board meeting. Williams and board members say that they have been preparing for the fact that they would lose this ESSER funding and no, knew that it was coming for months. Yesterday, MSCS posted a list of their considerations, including improving academic strategies, infrastructure, infrastructure planning, excuse me, and streamlining operations and realigning central office staff, which includes identifying, quote, opportunities to consolidate administrative functions. MSCS members told me there is a difference between people and their positions, and that while some positions have not been filled yet, this is a long process that is far from over. We have not gotten here. We're just starting budget season. We have a long journey before we get to May of 2024. So yes, we're going to have those conversations. But I ask that uh, grace will be given as you continue to watch us put all of the pieces of the puzzle together. A to discuss budget matters. And as part of those budget related meetings today and tomorrow, the heads of MSCS departments will lay out their priorities. District leaders say such a measure improves transparency to the public. Richard Pepper.